Guys, John Tellich, uh, Fox 8. LeBron, you guys were up 21 points. What, what happened? What, what factors led to uh, Boston coming back at you? Uh, momentum. Uh, momentum. We didn't continue to press the tempo. Um, you know, Marcus Smart started, and started to hit a lot of threes. They started to get momentum, and uh, that's what happened. You give a little team, I mean, you give a team a life, and um, you know, they played so freely without IT, and uh, they just made play after play after play, and we couldn't weather the storm. LeBron, you had a tough uh, second half with just uh, three points. What were some of the factors that led to that? Were you as aggressive as you wanted to be? What would you say? I had a tough game, period. Not just in the second half. Um, me personally, I didn't have it. You know, my teammates did a great job of keeping us in the game, building that lead. But me personally, I didn't have it. You know, so, I mean, that's what I got to say about my performance. Joe Barton, Cleveland.com. Was there a, a sense of, of surprise or shock or, or, or what have you in the locker room afterwards, just given how well the first two games had gone and that, that Isaiah was out? No, it's never it's never that. Um, you know, we've been playing so well. Um, but like I said, you let a team grab momentum like that, you almost knew that that last shot was going to go in. You know, it was like you already knew. As soon as the ball went out of his hand, um, you know, you kind of knew that shot was going to go in because how the game was just played throughout the uh, throughout the second half. Did you see, um, if I can follow up, LeBron, um, did they mix up the coverage on you from, from what you had seen in the first two games? No. No, they didn't mix up the coverage. They did a good job of uh, sprinting back low into the ball, you know, um, doubled me a little bit more in the post. But like I said, it's, uh, that, that my performance personally was all on me. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Tristan, for you, what's most disappointing, given the way that you guys played in the first two games and throughout the playoffs, what's most disappointing about this one tonight? Um, I think just, uh, you know, first of all, you got to give Boston a lot of credit. You know, they moved the ball exceptionally well tonight, especially with IT out. Um, you know, whenever you come, whenever you haven't played home in, you know, half a month, you know, you want to come out and, and Pull a you know full 48 for your fans and for yourself personally. So, um, gotta give them credit. They played well. We gotta be better. David Benjamin, ESPN. Tristan, when LeBron has a night that's atypical, we're not used to seeing that. How do you guys respond as as, as teammates, as a group, as the game's going on? Um, you know, they they feel different looks at him, and but we gotta, you know, we gotta be better as teammates. We gotta you know, pick it up and, and play better, but. It wasn't about, you know, the, the scoring. You know, we scored enough points to win the ball game. It was defensively, so it doesn't matter, you know, what bronze numbers were tonight. Defensively, we got to be better. It starts with, you know, multiple efforts, you know, taking the challenge one on one, and um, you know, making those adjustments and, and just, you know, playing harder. Kenny Roder, WHBC. LeBron, kind of off that defensively, what went wrong in that end of the third quarter through? the end of the fourth quarter defensively? I mean, a lot of things went wrong. Um, I don't know. I can't play the, the game right back in, the, in my head right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing the film tomorrow when we get together. But um, you know, they like, moved the ball like Double T said, 28 assists. And, um, you know, they kept us kept us, you know, at bay. You know, we couldn't get stopped, so we couldn't get out and transition a lot. And uh, those guys made, I mean, they made plays. They made a lot of plays. Um, they got some second chance points. You know, they we only had two fast break points, so you know they, they neutralized what we wanted to do. For you, you said you know it was just your game. Couldn't get into a rhythm tonight. Is that what it was, based on their defense, or just not not feeling it, or what? Uh, no, I was just pretty poor. I mean, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Seemed like you only answered. You only ask questions when we lose. I mean, it's, it's a weird thing with you, Kenny. Always come around when we lose, I swear. Yeah, okay. Le LeBron, what do you take from this game going forward in into Tuesday night? Uh, well, we're going to crack down on the, on, the, on the film tomorrow for sure. And we got to be a lot better. I mean, it's the postseason. I mean, you you win some, you know, uh, you lose a couple maybe. Um, but you want to – how can you be better from game to game? And like I said, they was better today than we were. And uh, we have to figure out a way to be better than them uh, in game four. But – you know, we look forward to the challenge. You know, I think it's great. 
what happened, I mean, it hurts. Um, it's a loss in the postseason, but, you know, I, I'm glad it kind of uh, happened the way it did. You know, uh, let our foot off the gas a little bit. You know, didn't keep the, the pressure on them like we have been accustomed to it. But, you know, we have to play a lot better. You know, we have to play a lot better in game four. Jared White, CLNS Media. Uh, LeBron, the Celtics scored seven points on ATOs in the final minute. What makes this team harder than almost any team in the league, just trying to stop them on out of bounds? Well, I said, that before, uh, I said that before the series even started about Brad Stevens and, and ATOs. If you go back and, and look oh, at my transcript, yeah, if you go back and look at my transcript, I said he's very good at ATOs. He has so many different wrinkles, you know, misdirection. You know, you thinking the ball going this way, he uh, has a misdirection going the other way. So, um, you know, it's just uh, you got to kind of keep your head on the swivel. You, he has a lot of packages, so you can plan for a few, but then he might run something that you've never seen before. But, you know, if we communicate a little bit better, you know, out of, out, out of timeouts, um, it'll put us in a position to be more successful against that. In general, Coach Lou was pretty kind of pinned that on the fourth quarter turnovers. Was that more of your lack of concentration or their hustle? A little bit of both, uh, a little bit of carelessness. Um, I had one, you know, when Kev ducked in, I should have faked high, bounced low, but I just threw it and that lets me know I didn't have it tonight. You know, and Jay Crowder got his hands on it. Uh, we had a couple more turnovers where we just either overpassing or overthinking or whatever the case may be. So, you know, um, that definitely resulted in, in us not being uh, as uh, as fluent as, we are, as we've been, um, you know, offensively. Jason Lodak and Mika General. What did you mean a minute ago when you said you're – oh, the athletic. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good – I get it, but they, they, they – no. <laughs> what did you mean a minute ago when you said um, you're kind of glad it happened the way that it did? Um, well, I feel some adversity is all part of postseason. I feel like you have to have some type of you know adversity in order to be successful. And uh, so I'm glad it – I mean, if it was going to happen, let's ha let it happen now. Let us – let us regroup, you know, uh, let us regroup and all the narrative and everything that was going on. Let's regroup and let's get back to um, playing desperate basketball, which they did tonight, you know. And, um, you know, so we got to we got to be a lot better for sure. Yeah. Uh, 